double check in procreate if all the layers that i need for the animation is already complete to create the png tuber character so for this pre-made character that i did i decided to animate the tails have a complex um mouth open and close and not just mouth close and mouth open so it's very similar to how my png tuber works right now as you can see in the video so i've created um three layers for that one so it's mouth close and then mouth half open and then mouth full open so i usually what i usually do prior to exporting this to another software for me to further um enhance the animation I just check if all the layers that I have is complete. So what I do is I go to the um, settings in Procreate and then go to the canvas selection here and then just toggle the animation assist and turn it on. And then after that, you would notice that there's a bar here that shows all the layers that you've created so i'm not gonna go in depth on how to use this um i'm just gonna show you how the layers are animated in such a way that um we can use in our png tuber so for the tail um we have all the different um layers for the tail here so I just um for checking purposes um we can check it using animation assist that the animated tail is fluid in terms of movement so right now i think i'm happy with all the layers that i need for the tail and then the next part would be the mouth for the complexity so no need to hide the other layers because the 
purpose of this is just you checking that you have everything you need to animate it so for the mouth i'm gonna unhide the layers and then double check again as you can see mouth close and then mouth half open and then mouth full open when you're gonna use this in the vid video to mini or your png tuber it should work this way whenever it detects an audio whenever you speak so it should work that way and then the next part is the eyes so i guess i can't show it here though but i did also include um eyes open and eyes close but you can't appreciate it here right now because it's separated in three layers so what i did was i separated this part of the eye the eyelashes and then as well as the uh, the iris of the eye the whole eye and then i've also included the eyebrows here so once you're good with everything the next thing that you would do is to export the whole thing so um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna use Calipeg, but if you're going to use Photoshop for for this uh, to to further animate this character, you should export it and choose PST. But if you but if you're gonna use Calipeg, you need to choose choose the png files to export all the layers that you have created individually so here's a sample of the frame how i utilize the frames that i created in procreate so i exported all the files and then moved it here and then of course i've organized it based on how i wanted it to be animated so we are animating for um complexity of the mouth with eyes open so for the tails um i did include all the layers and then created um the appropriate uh animation per frame so that the the tail movement is a little bit seamless so i animated each movement in 15, 15 frames so there are several ways for you to implement the character that you would want for your png tuber so you can just simply create two layers for your character having their eyes open and then having their mouth closed and open that's the most common thing that you would see um, whenever someone uses a, a png tuber and then the next one would be having them blink so for blinking um you need to create four frames so one with their eyes open and then having their mouth open and close and then another set of them with their eyes closed and then their mouth with open and close and then if you want to create uh, a complex png tuber similar to mine um you can do something like this so whenever it detects your audio it moves the mouth in a certain way and not just the full open and full close and then of course you can also include some a little bit of animation on any part of the of the character so for that one you need to have four files so two png files and then two gif files so to do a demo on how it works we're going to use a video to mini so i'm going to make use of the pre-made png tuber that i created so we're gonna start with a simple uh, mouth open and mouth close so as you can see whenever it detects uh, my voice it just simply opens its mouth and then i added a little bit of a tail movement just for um 
character uh, a little bit of character animation in it so that's the simple implementation of a png duper so the next one if you want to have to include the blinking part so for that one um let's try and open another file oh and also i forgot to mention that if you're going to set up a simple one you just need two png files so one for the closed mouth image here and then a second one for the open mouth here so the next part is it includes blinking so as you can see the character is already blinking so the setup for this one is you need to have four png files based on the slides that i showed earlier so you've already have the close mouth image right and then the open mouth image so you just need to upload two additional two png files for the close mouth blinking image and then the open mouth blinking image here so that's for when you want to include the character blinking so the next part is us including a little bit of a complexity in how the mouth moves whenever it detects the audio so as you can see um whenever there's just a slight audio detected um they you can see the the mouth half open being utilized so the setup for this one is you need four files for this one so one uh, two png files and then two gif files so for the png files you need to upload them in close mouth image and then the next one would be the close mouth blinking image and then for the gif files you will be uploading them in open mouth image and then the other one would be on the open mouth blinking image so there's um, as you can see the tail also moves whenever i talk so that utilizes the gif image that are currently moving here so that's um, the different kinds of implementation on how you want to create your own png tuber so you can do a simple one just open mouth open and close and then you can up to the very complex one where you utilize the gift images so to add your png tuber to your obs you need to go to your sources and then add a window capture and then choose the video to mini okay so as you can see um it's already showing in your o in my obs so the next step that we will do is remove make the green screen transparent and then hide the top bar showing here so to do that just need to right click and then go to filters and then under the effect filters add chroma key and then make sure to set it to green um i'm not sure if by default obs um is selecting the key color type green but just change it to the green So now, as you can see, the um, character showing in your OBS is already transparent. So the next step is us removing the top bar. So to do that, you need to right click again and then go to filters. And then under the effect filters, you just need to choose um, crap or pad. And then so in this case we're just hiding the top part so we'll just edit the top part but you can play around with the left right and um, bottom 
cropping uh, part of the frame so let's set it to 100 so now um oh, sorry i moved the wrong frame So now, as you can see, um, the top part is already um, hidden. So you can now see your, uh, you can now make use of your up avatar and just place it um, in any part of your screen when you're using OPS.